so when I looked at it I wanted to do Q for Queen as the Cayman Islands is ruled by British are uh, the Queen Queen Elizabeth that is and we actually fall under the, the British Empire and we are ruled by Queen Elizabeth now after getting to the Queen the Cayman Islands is ruled by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and when I did this in 2017 and I'm reading right now which is 2020 she is still our Queen Queen Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II yeah so we are thinking Queen so when I got to R, why about a switch from Queen? Let's go with royalty. Now, if we are talking about a queen, we're talking about someone that's royal. So I just kept that for the R. But there are many other words that you can come up with for R. And right now, you can see right there, the Cayman Islands, ruled by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And we are talking about so many stuff that's going on right now uh, well you can come up with your own R what about a raspberry what about Roger Roger that yes what about you a rat cute yes a rabbit how about a rabbit yes and you can hop like a rabbit and but try to be careful practice quiet quietly nicely not to hop all over the furniture but just do a few hop hop around the house and just let it, what a rabbit would do and be careful extremely careful not to knock into the furniture don't want it to get hurt but yes the Buckingham Palace is a place of royalty we pledge allegiance to the flag in total loyalty so that was that's in the book I'm reading from the book so you'll find that in there and now we are at the letter S. S. I got my S, I got my S, I got my S. I can skip, I can jump, I can dance. No, only S. Skip. Yes. So right here in this book, S is for Stingray. Stingray. Mm-hmm. Can you see this Stingray? Nice. All right. So we have the Stingray. S is also for C, and we are in the Caribbean, so we are surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. S is also for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. S is for sand, and we see that on the beach. We like to build sand castle, right? I don't know about you, but I like to get my toes in the sand, dig around in the sand, see what kind of stone I can pick up that looks so, what I would say, important. A beautiful stone that I said hmm this is a wonderful rock I wonder what if I was to take it home and polish it what it would look like so I'm always interested in finding those cute shells and stones unusual looking stuff inside the sand yeah so here in the Cayman Islands Cayman Islands also S is used for swanky I know what's a swanky lemonade Mixing lemonade is called swanky here in the Cayman Islands. And we're going to go to the letter T. And you can come up with more S words like Santa Claus and, and, and stores and all the wonderful stuff. And summer is for fun. But we're going on to T and look at Mr. Turtle right there. Mr. Turtle is looking sad or happy. Maybe because he's not able to play right now because the beach is not available but he's looking like he's ready to get back into the sea mr turtle right there and mr green turtle the cayman islands is known for the green sea turtle the hawksville and the loggerheads too make it a fun day trip and visit the cayman islands turtle center located in west bay and you can have some fun and learn more about turtles right there also a little piece on tea you know the silver touch palm that's um the silver touch palm is a national tree of the cayman islands the silver touch palm can be used to make um can use can be used to make ropes brooms 
fans, chairs, and even roofs. So just in case, you can ask your parents, ask an adult, ask someone how to make these things from silver touch palm. So from the tea, that's a touch palm. That was, um, it's also, it's a national tree of the Cayman Islands. So that's information right there you can share with your parents, guardians, teachers, and more. And some of that silver touch palm and tease ideas. So still, how many letters to go? Are you keeping check? Mm. S-T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. Okay, so you, in this case, I use United simply means that as a country anywhere anywhere in the world as a country you must be united in anything in school in church any group of people anywhere must be united to get something done correctly because if you're not united it's gonna be pull apart and also united in this case seeing that we're ruled by the British um, I also use it as United Kingdom so the United Ken Kingdom is the head country of the Cayman Islands U is also for unity, universe, unicorns. Well, you won't find any here, but it's beautiful to have a unicorn pictures are, picture around, right? So whatever you're doing, you can come up with your own U letters, U words, and unicorns was one that I came up with. The universe, which we're living in right now, sharing and, and helping each other. And to have a say, yes, you must be united first and foremost but you also to have a say you must be you must vote if you're going if your teacher said it's time for reading and and but we're going to vote on how many going to do reading or how many going to do drawing or how many going to go to sleep if you want to be part of the group you have to vote if they said let's see how many people want to read this book and you put your hands up in the air she's going to count so in order for her to get the if in order for you to get her to read this book and you want that to be part of the count or you want your number to, your name to add to the list you have to add not necessarily this book but any book that she's gonna read and any activity that your teacher or your parents or whoever is gonna have you doing you must cast your vote you must say yes or no to be counted okay so remember that so v is for vote v is also for van victor how many other words you can come up with the letter v victor victorious yeah and if there's a victoria inside the class hello and what else can you come up with the letter v thinking 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 too long okay all right We'll move right along, but I know several other letters, um, words you can come up with the letter V, but I will let that be your thing to share with your parents. All right? And we are going on to W. If you notice, a lot of people, a lot of people, I know why, because you are in a world where there are lots, millions, billions of people around you. But you must first be welcoming. You must also, you know, be able to have a personality that will welcome someone, let them want to talk to you or to even reach out to you. So if you're not welcoming, then no one is going to talk to you. Your friends won't talk to you and so forth because you're not welcoming. So it's important to do, have a welcome personality. Welcome a visitor, your family or friend to the shores of the Cayman Islands. Yes. Let someone feel welcome around you today. Don't let them worry, which is another doubly word that they can't fit in or they don't belong beside you or with you. Let them feel welcome. And what else would you like to come up with the letter W? Yeah, watermelon. Sure, lots of time we love watermelon, especially in the summer. It's a good source of water that if you don't like to drink water, mom get me some lemonade get me some watermelon no not the lemonade the watermelon because it's packed with a lot of water and it's very it's a very good substitute for water not that there should be a substitute but 
it's a very good substitute for not drinking as much water so where are we now we are at w so we are going to the letter x now x really is there such a word that start with the letter x of course many words some of them we can't pronounce them because we're so used to having a e i o u in words or we're so used to having letters um words with beginning with a b c most common letters s t and so forth so whenever it comes to funny words like letters like x and z you find less but i came up with the word xeno and the word xeno is used for nationalities or the amount of nationalities in a country here in the cayman islands we have well over 137 nationalities um in this book let's see how much was listed people from 135 countries lived in the cayman islands in the greek language foreigners are called xenos so in the greek language foreigners and if you're a visitor here or uh, you're living here but you're not caymanian you are called a foreigner and so you fall under xeno okay xeno means combining form relating to a foreign or a foreigner or someone that is a stranger to an island and now we move on to why 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 are we at why because it's the end of the book why not really someone just said you're missing z okay all right yeah i forget that one down there that last last z no worries we'll get to it so we are not really at the end then yet so here you are yellowfin a yellowfin and that's a fish to write but here we have a lot of yellow fins in the cayman islands and we do fishing here but they it's so beautiful when you have a nice fishing tournament and someone try to catch a yellow fin yellow fin tuna or a yellow fin snap or a yellow yes there are over a, a hundred species of fish found in the cayman islands including the yellow fin tuna do you know any other fish how about a snapper oh i said a yellow fin snapper i should say a yellow tail snapper all right so how about a snapper how about a parrot fish how about a jackfish any other fish you have doctor fish lawyer fish <laughs> i'm almost sure there's a judge fish out there but i will not go anywhere with that one unless you're gonna ask me to prove it right so yellow and you can come up with the word yellow from Y. The color yellow. You can also yell. Not to do it. You must not do it at someone. You can also, hmm, what else is Y? And you do find a letter, a word that comes up with the letter Y, starting with the letter Y. Yep. There you go. Yes. There you go yay and there you go so now we are at the final one drum roll please z z z z yeah final one oh shoo. all right so right here we have z for zinc and you know why we use zinc as the letter z because here in the cayman islands and many other caribbean countries and around the world to be exact to be uh, more precise um you find people use zinc to mill their roof and zinc fence zinc houses zinc so zinc can be used in a lot of stuff uh, do used for a lot of stuff so some roofs are made from shingle touch or tile and zinc the tapping of the raindrops on zinc rooftop may cause you to sing all right i love the pit pit patter of the raindrops you know that one right and it's right here i love the pit pit patter of the raindrops 
So maybe you can use that this time to go and find your friends and start sing and dance with I love the pit pit patter of the raindrops. I love the buzz buzz buzzing of the bees. But the thing I love the best, the very very best, is to know, and you know the rest, right? That God loves me. All right. And in closing, this book also tells about the three islands, shows some pictures. You will also have the national song, the national heroes, the national, all the national stuff you find also in this book. And EH, again, H is for heritage, which means tradition, custom, and legacy. You should know your heritage. Hence, the Cayman Islands A to Z put some small snippets inside when it comes to talking about the Cayman Islands and go out enjoy yourself this moment have yourself a wonderful day and don't get yourself too busy doing something else that is not gonna profit you later on and every time you get up each morning just say thank you Lord I am up and say hi and good morning to your parents and good night to your parents and love them and kiss them have a wonderful day